Okay. Today we'll learn the formation of AMs. Formation of AMs. Formation of AMs. Now, yes, what do we call AM? AMs, listen carefully, AM can be defined as, uh, as a particle of an element that has lost or gained electron. So it is what? A particle of an element that has lost or gained electron. Now, if an element loses electron or gains electron, then it turns into a yeah. So if I have an element this way, example, I have sodium. Sodium is a metal. Now, will it lose or gain electron? We we'll take that now. If sodium loses electron, or will it gain electron? Let's see what we have now. Sodium, which has sodium has eight electrons. Sodium has eight electrons. As it has eight electrons, then what will happen? We have to split this into the K element shell. Then this makes two, eight, one. Or is that a, so? Rather, sodium has eleven electrons. Sodium has how many electrons? It has eleven electrons. Then this is two, eight, and one. Now, sodium in the first shell, it has two electrons. In the second shell, it has one electron. It has one, it is eight electrons, that second shell. Then in the last shell, it has one electron in the last shell. Now, being, having one electron in the last shell will not make sodium stable. So what will happen? Sodium, need, sodium needs seven electrons more in order to balance, you know, in order to balance the shell. Need seven electrons to balance this last shell. So what, what will it do? Instead of looking for more seven electrons, then it gives out one electron. So it does this one, so possibly sodium will give out this one electron to the corresponding element that needs the electron. Now sodium will then lose the one electron. So this gives sodium losing one electron turns into sodium ion. That's what we call ion. So this is sodium an element, and this is sodium ion. So this one is having the atomic number or is having 11 electrons is having 11 electrons why this sodium ion is no longer having 11 electrons electron. why is it not having 11 electrons is that it has lost one electron you know that you don't have to be balanced so this would then be 2 8 so that's balanced in the gaseous state that's what balance now this is 2 8 here and here we have 2 8 1 this is 11 is having 11 as the number of electrons. Why this is no longer having 11 as the number of electrons? So how many electrons will it add here now? Because it has lost one, now it has 10 electrons. It has 10 electrons. So we need to balance the equation, it's not a balance. Why? Because the electron, number of electrons here is not equal to the number of electrons here. How many electrons do we have here? 11. How many electrons do we have here? 10. It's balanced there, that's what we call it a ion. You understand? It's balanced there at, the, at, at gaseous state. So we need to balance the level of electron. Now, this is 11 here. So, since I have 11 electron here and 10 electron here, how do I balance? Is it that you had one electron here, or you subtract one electron here to make this equals 10? Or you had one electron here to make this equals 11? So possibly we say plus electron. So this is just one electron. So this one electron plus this 10 electron makes 11 electrons. This is now what we call aeons. So this is the aeon of sodium, sodium aeon. So sodium is a metal. Why is it a metal? Because it has the properties of a metal. It has the properties of a metal. One of the properties of metal is that the, the electron, the number of electrons in the valence shell will be between one to three. That's one of the properties of Metal. So it has one electron in the last shell. So what will it do to the one electron? Then it lost the one electron in order to be balanced. Another example for a metal is we have two magnesium Mg. If magnesium, how many electrons does magnesium have in total? Magnesium has 12 electrons. Then that comes that if you split it into key elements, what well, we have has two, eight, two. Now Magnesium is not balanced. Why? Because it has two free mobile electrons that they are not balanced yet. And this 
last year need how many to complete? It needs to complete eight. Then what will happen? We need how many more? It needs six more. So it's not possible for us to get the six more. Then what will happen? That will give away the two. So that is what we call a yon. So it has to give away the two in order to turn into a yon. So magnesium a yon we have here. Mg. Now what would it be? This one is Na turns into Na plus. Why is Na plus? Because it lost one electron. That's one plus one plus. So in this case, it's only how many electrons? Two. That turns into two plus. So we have to balance it. This one is 12 here. 12 electrons. Why here it is? How many electrons now? 10. 2, 8. Why is it 2, 8? Because it has lost two electrons. Now, losing two electrons, we have to balance the numbers of electrons. This is having 12 electrons, this is having 10 electrons. So it's either you had two electrons here, or you subtract two electrons here. We have to balance it. But normally, we add two electrons here. That makes it balance. So this is balancing electron, balancing in your radar, in metal states. So what if we are what if we have it in uh, non-metal state? Example of non-metal. Now here we have non-metal. Non-metal. Now we have an example of non-metal. We have chlorine. Why is it? Why is chlorine non-metal? Chlorine is a gas. Now it is a, it's a gaseous state. You know, and again, we have, to, we have to prove it atomically. It has seven electrons in the outermost shell. And I said that metal should have in the outermost shell. I mean electron between one to three. That makes them what metal. So chlorine, for instance, now example one for the non-metal chlorine. Chlorine has how many electrons? 17 electrons. And you split this into K elements here. It makes 2, 8, 7. It has 7 electrons in the atmosphere. How many does it need more to complete? It is just one more. Will it give away this 7? No. no. It takes in 1. Then I make it this way. We have chlorine. Then we take it this way. It turns chlorine minus. 1 minus. Why is it minus? Why? Because it takes 1 electron in. So how do we balance it? This one is now. Is now 18 electrons. 2, 8, 8. Because it has taken how many electrons? One. one. So how do we balance it? Is it that you subtract one electron away from this one? Or you add one electron, electron to this to balance that? You understand? So adding one, it's better you add rather than subtract. So we add one electron here plus electron. So this one makes it 18. You understand? This one electron you have added makes it 18. Example two for this. Okay. If you, if you subtract, you have the same thing. So let's take it this way. Electron. Now let's take another example. Example two. Another one is oxygen. We have oxygen. You understand? You have oxygen, right? It has how many electrons? It has eight electrons. Then I have what? Two. Two. Thank you. Two what? Two six. Good. That makes it very better. Now two six. How many does it need more? It needs two electron more. It needs what? Two electron more. So how do we balance it now? We balance it as well. How did it? Then it, it turns into O2 two two minus. You understand? It turns into what? O2 minus. minus. That's how did it? Minus. It's taking in two. Good. So how do we balance it now? This is having two six, and this is now ten. Two, two eight. Two eight. eight. Thank you. So the what is the how many electrons does it have here now? That's ten. Now let's balance. Is it that you take away two from this one, or you have two electrons? Yes. So I said it's preferable you have two. So let's just add plus two electrons. So that makes it ten here, then ten there. So that's what we call aeon. So aeon in the order that we can have aeon can exist in metal state, also exist in non-metal state. So in metal state, aeon, uh, the element will lose electron. Then not have to turn into aeon. Then have to be balanced. Then what will happen to non-metal? Non-metal will gain electron. Then have to be balanced. Last example for that. So let's take example to make a reaction. I will use the example for sodium and chlorine here. Now, sodium plus chlorine gas. Sodium is about to be reacted with chlorine. You understand? Plus chlorine. Now, sodium is having how many electrons in the valence shell? Sodium. sodium is having one electron in the valence shell. It's having just one in the last shell, yeah. 
you understand? So because it's having one, what will you do to that one? According to the ionic theory, it, it gives away. away. It gives away the one. one. Now this is two, eight, one. Why this is two, eight, seven? Right. This is seventeen. This is eleven. Now for this one to be balanced, it has to lose. One. one. For this to be balanced, it has to gain one. one. So sodium will lose the one to chlorine. Then chlorine will gain the one for it to be balanced. Then it turns into sodium chloride. So why are they balanced? Why? Because sodium now is now sodium ion, chlorine ion. So chlorine here is having, is having how many? 18. 18. While sodium here is having how many? 10. By the time it gets here. So they have exchanged. So there's a bond between them, we call that bond ionic bond. Because ionic bond is the kind of bond that exists between a metal and a non-metal. By which the metal lost electron to the non-metal, the non-metal receives. You understand? So metals are called electron donor. Why non-metal are called electron acceptor? They accept electrons. Why metal gives out electrons? They give away electrons in order to exist in the ionic state. What do you have done?